The Florida Lotto requires you to pick six numbers from 1 to 53. The order of the six numbers does not matter, but to win, a person must match all six numbers that are drawn. There's a probability that a purchase ticket is a winner. Okay, so this is a probability question. I can see that by this statement. What is the probability, right? Probability that a purchase ticket is a winner. Okay, so the probability that a ticker, ticket is a winner, right? So probability of a win when buying a single ticket. So it's a basic probability problem, essentially, right? The probability that a ticket purchased is a winner. So it's just one ticket, one event. So we'll draw a fraction bar. We have to fill in the probability by doing basic probability. Remember, that's always number of winning combinations over the total number of combinations. So this is the basic probability layout, right? Number of ways I win divided by the total number of possible outcomes. So in this case, when I say number of winning combinations, I have to think about it. I bought one ticket, right? That one ticket has a combination of six numbers on it. Only that combination is a winner. So basically at that point, I have to say to myself, well, um, I know the top number easily. The top number's got to be one. So I don't have to worry too much about that. There's only one way I can win. If the six numbers that are drawn from the machine match my six numbers, I win. Only one winning combination possible. But how many total number of combinations are there? So that's the issue with this problem. It's, that, it's not actually that the concept of the problem is difficult. We know what we have to do, but getting this bottom number is difficult. And the way to think about it is we have to say, hmm, how many different possible combinations are there? If you hear that phrase that I just said, how many different possible combinations, we have that key phrase, how many. And when we talk about how many, we're talking about a counting problem. We're looking at combinatorics mathematics then, if we're asking how many different ways something can occur. So at that point, I have to think, well, gee, I wrote combinations here. Um, is that proper to write combinations, or am I just using the word loosely the way people often do in the English language? Or is this actually a mathematical combination? Well, let's see. I have a large set of numbers, 53 total numbers, and I'm required to pick six numbers from the set of 53. Well, that's kind of in the format of a combination, right? I have a large set of things, 53 things, and I have to choose a smaller subset of six. And then the only other thing to make it a combination is if it's got uh, no order implied, if order does not matter. And it says right here, the order of the six numbers does not matter, right? But to win, you have to match all six numbers, but it doesn't have to be in the same order. So it's a combination, clearly. So that means I can do 53 choose 6. That basically should give me the solution, right? There are 53 numbers to choose from. I have to choose 6 numbers. If I work this out, I should have my answer. And that's actually not too bad. We can do that with our calculators. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that with a calculator just to save the tedious by hand calculation of it. So most calculators have this uh, you know, NCR key or NCX key, and usually if it's under if it's not under a graphing calculator, it'll be on a key that says uh, probability. Sometimes there's a submenu, it's a PRB key. On this calculator, I have to hit math. I arrow over to where it says that PRB thing, and it turns out it's option three for me. So I'm going to put in my 53 first, then I go to math, go over to the PRB key, hit three, take option six, and when I'm done, I get this very large number. Um, Looks like 22,957,480 unique combinations. And so the chance I win is 1 out of 22,957,480 million. Not very good odds. I'm probably far more likely to get struck in the head by lightning in the summer here in Florida than I am to win the lottery even once.